YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video where we're gonna be talking about Cole Holcomb having season ending surgery, the commanders and giants now being moved to a prime time slot, and Ron Rivera's update on Chase Young and countless other injuries like Tyler Larson and others so without further ado let's get straight into today's video but before we do make sure you guys go down below leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications so you can notify when i upload a video about the nfl or in this case i watched the commanders on the road to 5,000 subscribers let's get straight into today's video so how we doing? Yesterday, as you can see, I didn't do no upload yesterday because I still was kind of feeling away about the tie. And um, quite frankly, how do y'all feel about it now two days removed from it? Me, I feel, if not worse, still the same because we should be 8-5 and five right now. And I know y'all are tired of hearing me say that because... You know, early in the season, I was like, we should have beat Minnesota. We should have beat, uh, we should have beat, uh, 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 um, who was the other team we lost to that we should have beat, uh, um, Tennessee in week five. I understand that, and and that's true. We should have beat those teams, right? But like, it, we lost, okay? So like, an outcome came to to came about, but a tie. No outcome really came, but nothing. Unfinished business, you know, empty calories. And looking back at that game, we should have been, we should be A and five right now. Okay. Countless opportunities that we that we uh left out on the table. The Giants could not mess with Terry McLaurin, couldn't mess with any of our receivers. And we just took, I don't know, we just got comfortable early. Like momentum shifted after going up 10. And then we just we just took our foot off the gas and then we came back late and then the overtime just killed my brain cells because it's like bro how do we do this we had two chances in overtime one possession when we were literally five yards away from Joey Sly's arranged now I don't know if he makes it but at least give him an attempt you run a beautiful hand off to Curtis Sammy who gets you by like 25 30 yards you need five more yards to get into Joey Sly's range for his uh for for his kick uh and we didn't do that. I mean, Scott Turner runs screens galore, bro, and they do no, they never work. I don't understand why he constantly does them. And not only does he do it, he throws it to the wrong people. Okay, like this guy is bad, man. And I and y'all hear me say it. I'm probably the number one, you know, Scott Turner needs to be fired fan in the fan base. And I just hope they see it, bro. Like, and I and I know they don't. I know the coaches that have done. I know Ron Rivera is loyal to his guys, man. But I just, I wish at some point they saw what we see on a weekly basis. Like he is hindering this team from progressing. Like he is one of the main reasons why we lost that game, if not the main reason, because. When you get two opportunities in overtime, not to mention it's already a shortened overtime, you're only getting 10 minutes in overtime. So the fact that your defense got you two stops and you weren't able to do anything with it, bro, you literally ran a draw on third and 10, basically saying you don't trust your quarterback. You don't trust your quarterback, bro. Don't, 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 don't surrender. Don't throw in a white towel and, and, and just say we're gonna play for the tie. At least allow him to try to pick up the first down through the air. And then if he doesn't get it, then you punt and just finish, but then you just settle with the tie. Earlier, fourth and three. Well, wasn't it fourth and three? And then we decided to punt. Why not go for it? Why not go for it? You had you have, you know what I'm saying? Uh you have, you know, an offense that's capable of getting three yards. And I, I know this may sound crazy, but I would much rather lose trying to go for the win than playing scared and not going for it at all. Like, we play with such a loser's mentality in, in Sunday's overtime game. It, it's crazy. Like, we shouldn't have lost that game, ladies and gentlemen. But – it is what it is. The team is uh, on their bye week now. It's already in the books. But let's start there. The Giants and Commanders game, they have been flexed to Sunday Night Football, which is not a surprise at all because this is a huge game. Playoff implications ride 
heavily on this game. We're at home. We're having a Sunday night football game, man. I wish I could go to this game. I wish I had the funds to go to this game. Anybody want to lend me a ticket? <laughs> I want to go so bad, man, because I know that stadium is going to be rocking. Jonathan Allen already has came out and said that he's going to try to give away as many tickets as, he's, as he can um, to have uh, all the fans behind us because this is a big game. This is the season in, in Jonathan Allen's words. So this is a huge game coming up post by not this weekend but next weekend man we got all week all week and next week to talk about it but it's a huge game and they're flexing it to sunday night football and i really hope that we can get it done in front of the home crowd um but again it it sucks and it it sucks that we tied on a week where we have a bye because now we got to sit with this bitter taste in our mouth for an extra week uh you know, we got to sit and watch these games play out on Sunday and and and, uh, and and still have that tie on our taste buds, man. I just want to get it off so badly, man, because it sucks, especially in the fashion that we did it. Um, and But it is what it is. Washington still has a good chance to possibly make the playoffs, um, and we just have to win now. Uh, but moving on to the next topic, we want to talk about Cole Holcomb. So as we know, Cole Holcomb, he pretty much got put on season-ending IR last week um we, we i was talking as if it was a hope that he can come back for the browns game but they already had shut it down and said he's having season ending foot surgery and it sucks for him because this was a contract year me personally i still think cole Holcomb has done enough to deserve a contract i think we need to get it done for him um because we need cole Holcomb back badly next year so um it, it definitely sucks we're gonna we're, we're gonna miss him we need him but once we saw him going um injury reserve we knew that it wasn't getting anybody you know remember, originally we like okay it's just a foot injury we'll see he'll probably out like two three weeks maybe but then we seen that they didn't get it didn't get no better okay and then um they put him on ir and then now he's having season ended foot surgery so his 2022 2023 campaign is over and we'll see him back next year hopefully in the burgundy and go um and then now moving over to some more injuries tyler larson he is to believe to have suffered a dislocated kneecap, which more which will end his season more likely than not. Now they're going to do uh uh they're going to do a second opinion on it um to be sure, but more likely than not, that's the care that's the case of his injury. Um, you know, uh uh, uh dislocated kneecap and, and and it sucks because he is the guy that pretty much stabilized this all uh, this 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 line since Chase really went out. Now we're now we're stick with now we're stuck with Nick Martin. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if when Wes Schweitzer you know gets a little bit more acclimated back to the offensive line, he'll probably get stuck back in there. But now we're we're down we're down our two centers for two centers for the second year in a row. Remember Chase really had a season and the injury last year. Tyler Larson had a season and the injury last year. And now both of them have having it again. We just have bad luck with our centers. Uh, so it it's definitely sucks because he helped stabilize his offensive line. But hopefully we are okay and Nick Martin could pick up where he left off. But my concern is definitely high when it comes to the center position because we remember last time Nick Martin had to come in for Tyler Larson. It wasn't a pretty sight, that first Eagles game. So um, now let's go over to Chase Young. Um, Ron Rivera had this to say about Chase Young. Uh, on Chase Young, Rivera said that with the way the front is playing, there's no need to put him out there right now. They have time to wait until he's 100% ready or as close to possible uh, as he can be. Um, Rivera made it clear about Chase Young, the only real way he, for him to play to get any true work on this is out on the field. Rivera says Commander's D is playing well enough that there uh, is no need to push Young as he's ready to go. We will get him out there. It's just uh, him being comfortable. Um, Rivera said the delay in Chase Young's return is the is that he needs true on-field work to get over the mental hurdles that remain. But since the season is in its final weeks, there's not much more real practice time to go around per Ron Rivera. So his two options are basically game or nothing. And that's pretty much what it is. You know what I'm saying? Either you're at this point, it's four games left. Either you're gonna play him or not. Like it's no, it's no, it's no point in holding him or 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 or, or saying mental hurdles. It's either you're gonna play him at, at this point or not. Because how do you expect him to get over these mental hurdles that he had if you're not going to play him? Okay, I totally get it. No, I've never got had a significant injury like Chase Young. Okay, but I totally get it. 
okay? When you injure something, you're going to be mentally fragile. You're going to be mentally scared because you're like, I don't want to re-aggravate this injury. I don't want to re-hurt it. You know, when you first get out there and when you first get back on the field. But how do you expect him to be okay? You can't replicate game, game-like situations in practice, Never, no matter how hard you try. You're not going to be able to practice guys falling at his knee. You know what I'm saying? Falling around his knee. You know, guys trying to actually test that knee and block him from getting to their core. You're not going to be able to test that in practice, okay? You're, that's not going to be able to – that's not going to be tested against dummies and, and bags that he's hitting in practice. That, that if you want him to get mentally ready and want him to get better, you got to put him out there, Ron Rivera. You know what I'm saying? You cannot continue to baby him because I see if they would have said he just doesn't look explosive off that knee. That knee just does not look right. They're saying now it's mental hurdles, which I'm not mad at Chase Young about. I totally understand Chase Young's point. Okay, but Ron Rivera and this and this coach staff and training staff not put him out there due to mental hurdles. You cannot. You can't brace him. You can't prepare him. It doesn't matter how hard you try. He has to go out there and experience it. Okay. It doesn't matter what you do, okay? It doesn't matter how – look, it doesn't matter how many times you try to teach your 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 kid how to drive a car verbally, okay, or in a parking lot. They're not going to get better at all. They're not going to get mentally comfortable at all unless you put them out there on the real world, on the real road. That same thing applies to Chase Young. You're not going to physically and mentally get him right, and he's not going to be able to physically and mentally get back to him old self unless he plays football okay so they got a big decision to make man at this point i'm, I'm over it you know i love chase young i want him back but if they if they're gonna continue to hold him out it is what it is because we don't desperately need him we want him back it will be a great necessity because chase young is the number two overall pick supposed to be the face of this franchise but defense is balling without him we've been doing we've doing it all year we made it this far without him hell why do we need it now right as much as i love it but and want him i'm not geeking anymore Okay, so as always, it's me, your boy Juan Gotti. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section down below about Cole Holcomb, about the game being flexed to Sunday Night Football, Chase Young, Tyler Larson. Let me know. Leave your comments down below. As always, it's me, your boy Juan Gotti. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So hit that subscribe button again if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I'm out. Yeah. Oh, cost me one time. That's going to get you pop. Get you pop. Get you pop.